boom, come back here, you see him. YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy C. Will back at it, bro, with another light, slight mm -hmm. video, y'all. Today's video, man, we're just gonna be installing our carbon fiber side skirts, man. These things been up against my wall for the past month or two, to be honest, y'all. I ain't even touch them or anything. But today, man, we're gonna be trying to install them, y'all. I don't think it's gonna be a hard job. I mean, you could do it, I guess, one man job, but I mean, two two people would be better. One person to hold it and the other person to actually put the self-tapping screws in or whatever whatever the case is, you know? But yeah, man, uh, y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, bro. Like I said, I appreciate all the love I get, all the feedback I get, um, everything, man. So, hey, let's get to it. All right, y'all. So, as you can see, man, we got the car right here. But as far as the side skirt, y'all, so I don't know if y'all can tell, but... Y'all see how the side skirts in the back start off straight right here and then it have like this little indention right here. It's like a little curve like right here. So it start off straight then we got this curve. That's how you know which side is which y'all. So let's go over here to the side skirts man. We got the side skirts right here dog. Sheesh these things are crispy. Um, I had bought these from a guy. He was selling them locally. I guess he didn't put them on his um his charger and whatnot. But shoot, I'll take them. I think I got them for two fifty. Y'all, these are like real too. Y'all, this ain't no. Yeah, y'all hear that bit? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, good real carbon fiber, man. Ain't no plastic. I mean, you could just tell by the back. I mean, the back is made like this is like hard. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, real carbon fiber type, man. Put this back down sheesh but yeah from the looks of things y'all it looked like this right here would be the left side as y'all can see how it starts off dumb straight and then it have like this little indention right here Let me let y'all look at it so yeah you can kind of just tell how it is but yeah on these y'all they have like some screws on the back well some little places where you can screw at right so you got like one screw right here another screw right there um another little mark right there right so it's already marked where you got to put your screw and stuff at where your screws so let me see i think it's a couple it's like six to, to eight screws on each side which i already went and bought the screws so I bought these screws right here, y'all. Boom, nine. Well, I bought 18, really. So I bought 18 of these screws, man. Boom. Then I also got some little lug nuts as well, just to like, just to hold it down in place. Got some lug nuts as well, just to hold it down in place, man. So yeah, that's basically how it's gonna be, man. So let's get the car pulled into the middle right here where I can work. And we finna just get to it, bro. Y'all, I'm not even gonna say low key because this car is not low key. High key, this car is dumb loud, bro. It is currently 8:35 in the morning, y'all. 8:35. Hey, let's get this cold start, man. Good garage cold start. Good. <laughs> Sir. y'all so i'm currently on base right now man uh about to use the i guess self-service uh lift and all that man so i can put the side skirts on uh it's like a, a day or two later but yeah man i'm just getting to it as y'all can see man we did fix this uh this staggered rim issue or staggered wheel issue man sorry for the wind noise um i'm using the iphone 
today, man. So yeah, as y'all can see, man, got it staggered a little bit. The wheels are kind of turned in, well, to this way. But yeah, man, I just wanted to give y'all a little walk around right quick before the side skirts go on. As y'all can see, man, it's gonna be right underneath there. So yeah, Ooh, I had to take off the other ones, the little red spikes, which is cool, you know. Yeah, y'all, these things are like out here, y'all. Unfortunately, the mud flaps are actually in the way, so y'all can't really see that good. But like I said, y'all, these things are definitely out here, man. Sheesh. Yes, sir. So yeah, let me pull in to the, the little garage, man. Put this thing on the lift. And I'm gonna get back to y'all, bro. Let's do it. All right, see fam. So I currently have the car on jack stands right now, man. Just put it up there with this big two-ton, right, y'all? I need to buy me a big two-ton. If I had this, I could have put it, could have did this right here at home. But yeah, y'all, so got that. I already drilled my holes in. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six holes. I might put another one right here just in case, but I also have this 3M tape, y'all, double-sided tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough really, but I'm gonna try to put as much tape right here as I can. So I'm gonna basically just mount it on there first. Um, as y'all can see, they have these grooves right here and they also have them like underneath the uh, car as well. So you actually already know where to line everything up at and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'm gonna put my 3M tape right here, y'all, just so I can mount it up there first and line it up the way I wanna line it up. And then, um, yeah, as far as the hole I had drilled, I use a 730 second head. Sorry for all the noise, y'all. Um, but yeah, I use a 730 second head. Boom, as y'all can see, bought my own tools from home, man. Yeah, 730 second head, man. Drilled all these in. So yeah, let's get to mounting it up on the car, y'all. Let's go. All right, y'all. So this right here is how it look currently, man. I didn't have enough tape, which is fine. I mean, you don't have to tape every single little space, but um, obviously, this right here should do the trick. So I'ma unpeel every, well, I'ma unpeel the first side first. Unpeel this right here, man, going underneath the car and actually line it up, y'all. So stay tuned, bro. Let's get to it. All right, see fam. So we are currently underneath the car, man. So as y'all can see, this right here is the, the edge. So I have one, well, I'm not even gonna count. But yeah, y'all, this right here is what I mean. So if y'all look under your car, y'all have this i don't know they have little indentions right here all right the indentions are i guess for the the side skirts so yeah all you really got to do y'all is go in underneath man put y'all some self tapping screws just like this like this oh i don't know if y'all can see like this one right here so basically every opening y'all i have a screw all right and so on and so forth so one i have one two three four Five. I have six screws y'all for every opening I have one screw so as y'all can see man it's it's definitely you know lined up and all that good stuff y'all um it's better if you have two people I'll tell y'all that right now it's much better if you have two people um all right see fam so look man we currently about to do the second side but I feel like I didn't got a little wide since the first side y'all why is uh so if y'all doing this by yourself man one man install could be one man install like I'm doing right now um pretend that that this jack right here is another person all right so what i have right here y'all is the side skirt on the actual jack all right so basically the the jack is acting like a person that's actually holding up this side enough all right so now i can really just focus on this side right here and guess what if you need the the side skirt to be up a little more just put the jack up a little bit and then that side is going to be held up while you can work your way from this side all the way down to that side all right so that's like a little tip all right use your resources if y'all got a jack or if, even if you have like a another uh, extra jack stand you can put the jack stand you can put the side skirt on top of the jack stand all right so like i said use your resources man um anything is possible whether it's a one-man install two-man install hey we still getting it done honestly i wouldn't even advise using these right here y'all um i had clean underneath here and blah 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 but it's still not even holding it's not even like catching so like i said i would recommend a two-man install or get a jack or a jack stand let y'all side skirt rest on top of the jack or jack stand to act as like a person holding it and then yeah just go to town man so i'm gonna do this second side all right see fam so look man i'm currently back home right now y'all um 
I don't know. The install really wasn't even that bad for real. Like I said, it's better for y'all to do it with two people rather than one person, man. I ended up starting at the crib. Then I had to go all the way to Schofield, well, on base because they actually had the, the tool I had needed. The only tool I was missing out was the big two-ton jack. I have the little small jack where you can do basic work, but if you really need to get under under my car and all that, I really need to purchase a two-ton jack, y'all. Big old, big boy jack so I can lift the car all the way up. But without further ado, man, um, let me let y'all see the whip. All right, y'all, so disregard the, the noise. My neighbor over there, he's doing some kind of construction work. I don't know. But yeah, as y'all can see, man, y'all see the little stance got better, bro. I ended up taking the, the red lug, the red uh, spike lug nuts out of there, man. Just because, I mean, I care more about the stance rather than anything else, y'all. Y'all can see them things out here a little bit, man. Sheesh. But yeah, let's get to the, the side skirts, man. So as y'all can see, bro, the side skirts, I ended up drilling like a hole right there and y'all see that little hole but i'm gonna put like some black uh some black paint or something to like fill that hole or something something gonna fill that hole so it ain't really gonna be visible but yeah as y'all can see man we got the little light side skirts man i gotta clean it clean my car off and all that but y'all see it though man i think it's a good little touch to the whip you know boom come back here you see him that's not bad, y'all, for real, for real. I think it look really good. Sorry for the wind noise, if any. I'm using my phone. I ain't feel like getting the camera out. But yeah, sheesh. That bit look good. Good, good, good. I really wish I didn't have this mud flap right here, y'all, so y'all can see how far out the, the back tires stick out, man. But yeah, y'all see that thing, though, man. Y'all can, I know y'all can tell the stance is, like, a lot meaner now. It's, it's, it look a lot better, y'all, no cap. Sheesh. Hope they ain't got no wind noise out here, man. Oh yeah, go follow your boy C Will, man. Yes, sir. Damn. Yeah, man, I get a lot more compliments now, y'all. Um, a lot more. Damn. Oh yeah, I got the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber little bezels coming, man. I ordered them today. I got a throttle body coming. Uh, my front lights, I'm ordering the front lights uh, Monday. Whenever lighting trends open back up, man. It's a lot of money being spent on this car, y'all. Like, people think mods cheap. People think, nah, bro. Like, yeah, the, <laughs> the mods are going stupid, man. I know I'll be posting like crazy, but I don't know. The videos might slow down by a couple of days here and there just because, like, I have to order mods. Stuff got to get all the way to Hawaii, y'all. So if I lived in Texas, lived back in Louisiana where I'm from, if, if I lived there, man, I, I get the parts in, like, a day or two, right? But all the way in Hawaii, you got to come across the water, y'all, you know, so. Damn. Yes, sir. I ended up putting, like, I don't know, I'd say, like, six to, to eight self-tapping screws under, under, like, each side skirt. So what I did, I put a screw, and then I put a washer, and then I just did both underneath the car. So screw, then washer, then you just go underneath. Um, I did have to pre-drill it, like I said, which really wasn't bad. But yeah, man. Y'all can see. Good little side skirts, man. It looked like the back is thicker than the front. I tried to line it up, y'all, the best way I could, man. As y'all can see, you know, it looked lined up to me. It looked nice and flush, you know what I mean? Like I said, these are real carbon fiber, too. You know, real carbon fiber side skirts, man. Yes, sir. Bit look good, y'all. I can't even flex. Can't even hold, y'all. These things look good. Yeah, I just need to clean it off, man. Clean the car. Got the car parked outside just so y'all can see it, man. But yes, sir. We in this bit, dog. Sheesh. Before I see, well, oh yeah, I need to clean them things. But y'all see it though, man. In the sun, these bit, these things pop. Unfortunately, the sun not really out right now. It likes about to rain out, so, as always in Hawaii. But yes, we'll conclude sir. today's video. Now y'all see my neighbor back there. He ain't really knows. He just chilling. But yeah, man, it will conclude today's video. I appreciate everything. Y'all new to the channel? Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man. Your boy C Will out this bitch. <laughs>